Do you know that piperacillin tazobactam, or what we call zosin, is commonly used for initial empiric antibiotics treatment before cultures and sensitivity results are back? That's because it is active against gram-positive, gram-negatives, and anaerobes. Its gram-positive coverage includes methicillin-sensitive staph aureus and streptococci. Its gram-negative coverage includes Pseudomonas arginosa. Please do not use it for MRSA and enterococci, enterococcus fecalis officium. Do not also use it for bacterial meningitis. It does not cross the blood-brain barrier at high concentrations. Zosin also should not be used for ESBL producing bacterial infections like E. coli or Klebsiella pneumoniae ESBL. It is not reliable even if the culture shows it's sensitive to zosin. Use a carbapenem instead. Adding metronidazole to zosin is not required. Zosin covers anaerobes by itself. Zosin comes in IV form only. Renal dosing is required based on creatinine clearance. No hepatic dosing adjustments is required on the other hand. Diarrhea is a prominent side effect independent of C. diff infection. Remember as with most antibiotics thrombocytopenia can develop as well. 